sorry for the loud echo. I'm in the new apartment. But this morning, Michael and I went ahead and picked up the U-Haul and I went and grabbed some breakfast and ate it. I was so hungry. And now the internet is being installed, so we have to wait here for a little bit. But afterwards, we're gonna go back to my place and finish packing up some stuff, pack up the U-Haul, and start taking things up here. I'm kind of worried it's gonna be really hot today. Okay, we moved out all of the big stuff. Everything else can basically just go into my car. It is so hot. And that's how you park. We finally finished moving everything up into the new apartment. We started at around 10 and it's now 4.30. So it literally took all day, but we're finally here. We're gonna go grab some food because we're starving, return the U-Haul and then probably set up my bed so that there's somewhere to sleep tonight. Morning guys, today is Saturday, August 6th and the movers are coming with the rest of our stuff. I'm super excited because I don't have to move anything and B because we're finally getting the couch and the dining table and everything else. So I'm very excited. Today's agenda, um, we're going to let the movers come drop everything off. They already picked it up from Michael's apartment and now they're on their way here. And then once the movers are here and they drop everything off, I'm gonna head over to my old apartment and start cleaning it and just filling the holes and touching up the paint and everything so I can get my security deposit back. Also, sorry for the noise. I have my window open because the AC broke in my new apartment. Okay, so the movers left <laughs> and I just wanna show you what the apartment is looking like. This is what the kitchen's looking like and the living room, y'all. It's, it's just a lot. I don't know if you can see that. It is 83 degrees, so we are hot. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. It's a lot agitating. I'm a little sweaty. So we're just gonna start tackling this. We're just gonna start putting boxes where they need to go. kitchen has been unpacked for the most part um, over here is where all of my plates are um, I just went ahead and combined Michael and I's plates and cups and stuff like that um, up here is where all of my Tupperware are gonna live and then over here is our like spices cabinet we came with two sets of everything so I don't want to throw it away because I know eventually we'll need it so I just stuck it all up here um, so we can shop our cabinet when we run out of things like soy sauce or salt or things like that. So I ended up moving the Keurig over on this side and the Booty Ninja over here. This is what my pantry is looking like. Very stuffed. It's like we have so much food but I also feel like we don't have any food at all. The living room is not looking horrible as bad as it did before at least we can walk into it now but it's still very messy I'm just setting this up i think i'm gonna end up moving my desk over on this wall that way i can put my tv on top of it i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a new dresser just like the same exact mom dresser but instead of it being the four drawer one i'm gonna get the six drawer one and stick it right here I'm so excited. I set up my TV. 
trying to figure out if it's too big now though <laughs> this is a 55 inch this is the tv that was in my living room at my old place the only problem is is this one's 55 inch and then i have a 43 inch i'm trying to figure out if i want this one or this one in my room like this one's almost too big but then this one's gonna be too small so i guess it's just a preference on whether i want it to be an oversized tv or a small tv and now if you can't tell from the background i am in my old place and i'm getting ready to just pick it up so that i can get my security deposit back um, it's not too bad there are a couple of holes that need to be fixed but overall all i really have to do is just sweep wipe down the refrigerator and fill in the holes and I think I'll be good to go. This is where I used to store my paint and have paint all over the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some acetone and try to remove it. Okay, so to fill in those holes, I picked up this patch kit from Home Depot. Hello, good morning. Today is day, what feels like 567 of the moving vlog. I am back in my old apartment and just wanna finish up some things before I have to turn in the keys. Tomorrow is the last day of this lease. So I want to give in the keys today when they're open. I just have a few things to do. Um, I went and patched most of my hole, the holes that were in my wall. Yesterday, some of them need to need a little bit more spackling. And then there's a few anchors that we couldn't pull out because we didn't have the right size screw to take them out with. So I came back today with my entire toolkit. That way we, I can find a screw that'll fit. And that's basically it, to be honest. I just need to hurry up and give them these keys and just move on unfortunately i'm so sad i love this place but it's time to move on So I finally got done packing this place up. I'm so sad, but it looks like it's all good. I patched up all the holes. Everything is clean. I swept like literally a million times. And then, and then I took a video of how it looked before I close up just to protect myself. Just a tip, always take pictures and videos of the unit before you turn in the keys to show proof of how you turned it in. That way, if there's any questions on whether you damaged something or not, you can refer to the video with the timestamp and everything. So just a quick tip. I guess I'll go ahead and show you how this place looks empty since I never did an empty apartment tour. So this is what the front of the apartment looks like. This is where I had that whole little entryway thing. And this is what that picture was covering up. Um, I had hooks over here. I kind of damaged the wall a little bit, but I went ahead and just um, spackled it up. This is the pantry, completely empty. This is the kitchen, totally empty. This is what the whole living room is looking like. Being in this space makes me realize how small it was um, compared to my new apartment. So this is my bedroom, puny. I love it though. This is the closet, completely emptied out. Really nice closet for being the only one in the whole entire apartment. And then this is my bathroom. I didn't really film too much content in here just because it was the bathroom, but there it is. 
All right, folks, that's a wrap.